both these two hold lofty ambitions to be a League One side next season. Both involved last season in an extraordinary gripping title race in the National League. They could well be involved in another one, the pair of them, in a promotion race, albeit on different scales. Wrexham at home have been strong, but last Saturday they would lose at the hands of Bradford, inflicting them to a second home loss of the campaign in League Two. Notts County finally were able to register a win under head coach Stuart Maynard in midweek at the fourth attempt by beating Newport in Wales. Can they beat the side who pipped them to the National League title last season and detonate automatic promotion hopes in League Two this campaign? It was an absolute thriller when they met in April. The game that effectively decided where the title would go in the National League when Wrexham won 3 2. Looking currently here for Dan Crowley. Goldrick, far right of him, gets the crossing towards Langstaff. Conquo with a big save. Corley Langstaff inside the penalty area. Usually gobbles those chances up, but a Conquo denies him. Robertson, general acquisition from Fleetwood Town. And Jody Jones, we know how he's such a specialist in getting assists this season. Gets the cross in there this time. Langstaff was going for it. Over though, over though Connor and out for a corner, which Notts County have taken quickly. Rex have got to wake up here. Jones crossing in to the back post. There's the header on. And then it's away. This time it's away. And out for a corner by Fletcher. And it was in by Jones. Langstaff there to try and put that in, but didn't. From the resulting corner, Jones eventually put it in. Conquer went for it, but it was Fletcher who put it out and got there first. And right now to Ryan Barnett. Kyle Cameron, the closest defender to him. And stop the cross going in. What will the second attempt look like? And we'll go from Barnett, Fletcher competing! And then it's broken for him, and he finds the net. 37 next month, still scoring goals at his age. Testament to Stephen Fletcher. And it's testament to him that he's put his side in front in this one. He didn't give up, it didn't even drop, and he was able to find the net and give Wrexham the lead. Kyle Cameron. To McGoldrick. Notts County still pushing here. They've not let that goal affect them. Delivery is headed away though by Boyle. McGoldrick. Oh, beautifully away from his man. Gets the shot away. And that's a nice diving save by Conquo. Outside of the box effort from McGoldrick, which Conquo was able to deny. Jones once more. Crowley now into Jody Jones. Patient play here by the visitors. Jaden Warner. Jones. Infield striking from range. And only hitting it wide, but not too far wide. That was a good strike from Jody Jones, which deserved to be on target. Battle with Paul Mullen, who takes a tumble. Carl Brook, the man in the middle, says no penalty. Well, he was very close to it. He had good eyes on it, did Carl Brook, the referee. Jaden Warner, however, though, does enough to not foul Paul Mullen and not give a penalty away. even though he wasn't Notts County's manager last season. Stuart Maynard will know all about Wrexham from his days as the Wildstone head coach. And of course, they were in the National League last year. McLean. Nice ball out by Jones. Of course, going into the penalty area. Elliot Lee rising highest, but hiding it wide. Well, he scored one of the goals in the win at Sutton on Tuesday night. Couldn't score at second in four days with that attempt. Well sent forward, and here is now Paul Mullen here inside the penalty area. It deflects. 
Jaden Warner heads it out for a corner. And it goes into the penalty area. There's the header, and it's off the bar. Will Boyles head nearly finds Wrexham a second. Well, he's hard to not miss in that penalty area when attacking set pieces. Gets his header down into the ground off the frame of the goal, which comes to Notts County's rescue. Well, there isn't many times this season Notts County don't score in League Two. Just four previously. Cameron. Jones with a delivery, missed by Cluworth. Here's now McGoldrick, Robertson shoots. On the turn, but Oconquo holds. Goldrick couldn't get the shot away. Robertson could his teammate, but it was one. It's not enough to beat a Conquo. Wrexham goal. Corner in again this time. Let's count he head to it first. Andy Cannon. That's it. Paul Mullen. Gets a shot away. Two hands to it from. Notts County goalkeeper Ashby Hammond. Well, it was hit low. It took a bit of a bounce in front of him, but strong enough hands to it. Aaron Barnett assessing what he's going to do next. Does eventually get the cross in. Heading that out to James McLean. Urge to shoot and does. Hit the crossbar and gone out. Well, he didn't really get a lot of power behind it, did James McLean? It was swerving, it was curling, but clips the top of the goal and out of play. Bostock. That's County's turn to try and come up with an attack. Crowley delivers it in, goes right the way in there into McGoldrick who scores, but the goal will not stand. Colbrook says there was an arm used by David McGoldrick, which doesn't allow the goal to stand. However, though, the goal scorer McGoldrick adamant. There's nothing wrong with it. Only one manager has actually been able to win at this place this season. That's been Graham Alexander with two different sides in MK Dons and Bradford. And certainly one the crowd enjoyed there from Andy Cannon. In by McLean into Fletcher. He's not able to add a second. And his team second on his chest. Again, took it on the volley. Trying to recreate his goal that he scored in the first half, but unable to there. Name. That's it. Crowley, who's man coming short to it. Name again. Crowley again, trying to chip it, and Oconquo does hold on. Just didn't get enough purchase or height on it. It was pretty straightforward for Oconquo. As the full-time whistle blows, it's a big win for Wrexham. They march on in their pursuit of back-to-back -back promotions, whilst damaging Notts County's playoff aspirations. It's a third defeat in five. That's Notts County boss for Stuart Maynard. But for Phil Parkinson and Wrexham, they stay in the top three and are on course for the third tier as a result. Full time, Wrexham won. That's County Neil.